Cultural ecosystem services are the values people get from nature that aren't strictly material. They are as diverse as the ways that people relate to nature. Examples include connections to heritage that come from hunting or foraging for traditional foods, or the spiritual connection that some people experience from visiting a sacred forest. Considering cultural ecosystem services in decision making is especially important for ensuring that environmental policies are just and equitable. But these kinds of ecosystem services are hard to deal with. It's hard for researchers to measure them and decision makers to account for them. Without reliable ways to include them in policy, there's a risk that decision making will not represent some people's values. In this paper on cultural ecosystem services and decision making, we wanted to understand how researchers connect cultural ecosystem services to policy. So we reviewed over 230 papers that dealt with cultural ecosystem services and looked for references to decision making. We created categories to capture the four kinds of decision making connections that we found. These are one, papers that didn't connect to policy at all, two, papers that mentioned policy briefly, three, papers that talked about policy in a general way, and four, papers that discussed a specific decision making situation. We tagged each paper with the category that it most closely fit. We found that almost every paper we reviewed at least mentioned decision making. A handful of papers even engaged decision makers in the research process. Many more suggested how their work could connect to a specific decision making case or to decision making theory. This is encouraging because it shows that cultural ecosystem services researchers see a need to connect their work to policy. But we also found that almost half of the papers we reviewed mentioned decision making only very briefly. This is important because it suggests that cultural ecosystem services research still has a way to go toward actually closing the gap between research and decision making. So what's the big takeaway? There's a great opportunity for cultural ecosystem services research to help make more just environmental policy. But closing the gap between policy and research in this field is going to challenge researchers to get creative and think outside the box. There are many ways to get creative, and cultural ecosystem services could even provide some inspiration. You know, being outside can increase creativity. So why not take a walk with some colleagues and see what comes to mind?